It has been cold this week. That damp cold of Ireland uh, it somehow feels colder than the drier frozen winters I grew up with in Canada. And this cold has been a sudden change from the unseasonably warm weather that we had in the first week of November. This past week, in contrast, has been significantly colder than what we would normally expect, with a few nights of hard frost down to 4 degrees Celsius below freezing, which is unusually cold for this part of the world. So yeah, I am complaining a bit about the damp cold lately, and I do appreciate our warm and dry house on these colder days, so I'm less likely to venture out into the gardens. The gardens are still active at this time of year, with lots of hardier plants growing outside and under the protection of crop covers and in the polytunnels. The rate of growth is quite slow, but they are still growing any time the temperature rises a bit, which generally matches my own activities in the gardens. But looking back on the year, the mean temperatures each month have been significantly warmer than usual, and this is part of a long-term warming trend here in Ireland following what is happening globally. Apart from January and September, each month this year has been more than a degree warmer than the long-term average. That may not sound like much, but it is significant, especially here in Ireland when the temperatures during the main part of the growing season are usually quite cool. When warmth is one of the main limiting factors for growth and productivity for a lot of the vegetable plants, a few extra degrees can make a difference in the yield and can extend the growing season. And it was a good year for growing, being noticeably warmer at times and generally enough rainfall for most of the year to not cause significant constraints in plant growth. A lot of the crops we grew produced quite well, and most of the disappointing crops were due mainly to a lack of appropriate fertility or care, or enough protection from pests and competition. Things that I'm responsible for, rather than blaming it on the weather. As a grower, I do appreciate the added warmth in the growing season, and feel fortunate to be based in a climate not experiencing the more extreme impacts of climate change yet. And I feel it is even more important to be able to take advantage of the better growing conditions we might get to produce even more food for ourselves locally, especially when so many of the places that we would normally import food from are experiencing increasingly problematic growing conditions.